In mathematics, a ring is one of the fundamental algebraic structures used in abstract algebra. It consists of a set equipped with two binary operations that generalize the arithmetic operations of addition and multiplication. Through this generalization, theorems from arithmetic are extended to non-numerical objects such as polynomials, series, matrices and functions. A ring is an abelian group with a second binary operation that is associative, is distributive over the abelian group operation, and has an identity element this last property is not required by some authors, see section notes on the definition. By extension from the integers, the abelian group operation is called addition and the second binary operation is called multiplication. Whether a ring is commutative or not i.e., whether the order in which two elements are multiplied changes the result or not has profound implications on its behavior as an abstract object. As a result, commutative ring theory, commonly known as commutative algebra, is a key topic in ring theory. Its development has been greatly influenced by problems and ideas occurring naturally in algebraic number theory and algebraic geometry. Examples of commutative rings include the set of integers equipped with the addition and multiplication operations, the set of polynomials equipped with their addition and multiplication, the coordinate ring of an affine algebraic variety, and the ring of integers of a number field. Examples of noncommutative rings include the ring of n times n real square matrices with n2, group rings in representation theory, operator algebras in functional analysis, rings of differential operators in the theory of differential operators, and the cohomology ring of a topological space in topology. The conceptualization of rings began in the 1870s and was completed in the 1920s. Key contributors include Dedekind, Hilbert, Frankel, and Noether. Rings were first formalized as a generalization of Dedekind domains that occur in number theory, and of polynomial rings and rings of invariants that occur in algebraic geometry and invariant theory. Afterward, they also proved to be useful in other branches of mathematics such as geometry and mathematical analysis. Topic: <laughs> Definition and illustration. The most familiar example of a ring is the set of all integers z Display style math b z consisting of the numbers minus five minus four minus three minus two minus one zero one two three four five. The familiar properties for addition and multiplication of integers serve as a model for the axioms for rings. Topic definition. A ring is a set R equipped with two binary operations plus and satisfying the following three sets of axioms, called the ring axioms 1. R is an abelian group under addition, meaning that a plus b plus c equals a plus b plus c for all a, b, c in R that is, plus is associative. A plus b equals b plus a for all a, b in R that is, plus is commutative. There is an element 0 in R such that a plus 0 equals a for all a in R that is, 0 is the additive identity. For each a in R there exists minus a in R such that a plus minus a equals zero that is, minus a is the additive inverse of a point two. R is a monoid under multiplication, meaning that a b c equals a b c for all a, b, c in R that is, is associative. There is an element one in R such that a one Topic A and one A. 
a for all a in R, that is, 1 is the multiplicative identity. Point three. Multiplication is distributive with respect to addition, meaning that a b plus c equals a b plus a c for all a, b, c in R left distributivity. b plus c a equals b a plus c a for all a, b, c in R right distributivity. Equals. Topic. Notes on the definition. Equals. As explained in section history below, many authors follow an alternative convention in which a ring is not defined to have a multiplicative identity. This article adopts the convention that, unless otherwise stated, a ring is assumed to have such an identity. A structure satisfying all the axioms except the requirement that there exists a multiplicative identity element is called a RNG, commonly pronounced rung, and sometimes called a pseudo ring. For example, the set of even integers with the usual plus and as a RNG, but not a ring. The operations plus and are called addition and multiplication, respectively. The multiplication symbol is often omitted, so the juxtaposition of ring elements is interpreted as multiplication. For example, xy means xy. Although ring addition is commutative, ring multiplication is not required to be commutative, ab need not necessarily equal ba. Rings that also satisfy commutativity for multiplication such as the ring of integers are called commutative rings. Books on commutative algebra or algebraic geometry often adopt the convention that ring means commutative ring to simplify terminology. In a ring, multiplication does not have to have an inverse. A non-trivial commutative ring such that every non-zero element has a multiplicative inverse is called a field. The additive group of a ring is the ring equipped just with the structure of addition. Although the definition assumes that the additive group is abelian, this can be inferred from the other ring axioms. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Basic properties. Some basic properties of a ring follow immediately from the axioms. The additive identity, the additive inverse of each element, and the multiplicative identity are unique. For any element x in a ring R, one has x0. Topic 0 0 x 0 is an absorbing element with respect to multiplication and minus 1 x equals x. If 0 equals 1 in a ring R or more generally, 0 is a unit element, then R has only one element, and is called the zero ring. The binomial formula holds for any commuting pair of elements i.e. any x and y such that x y equals y x equals topic example integers modulo 4 equals equip the set z 4 equals 0 1 2 3 Display style Math BF Z underscore four equals overline zero overline one overline two overline three with the following operations the sum x plus Y Display style overline x plus overline Y 
in Z4 is the remainder when the integer x plus y is divided by 4 as x plus y is always smaller than 8, this remainder is either x plus y or x plus y4. For example, 2 plus 3 equals 1 Display style overline two plus overline three equals overline one and three plus three equals two. Display style overline three plus overline three equals overline two. The product x y Display style overline x c d o t overline y in Z four is the remainder when the integer x y is divided by four. For example, two three equals two. Display style overline two c d o t overline three equals overline two and Three three equals one display style overline three c d o t overline three equals overline one. Then z four as a ring. Each axiom follows from the corresponding axiom for z if x is an integer. The remainder of x when divided by the fourth of May be considered as an element of z four, and this element is often denoted by x mod four or x display style overline x, which is consistent with the notation for zero, one, two, three. The additive inverse of any x display style overline x in Z four is minus x display style overline x. For example, minus three equals minus three equals one display style overline three equals overline minus three equals overline one. Topic example: two by two matrices. The set of two by two matrices with real number entries is written M two R equals A B C D A B C D element of R. Display style math call m underscore two math b r equals left left begin p matrix a and b c and d end p matrix right a b c d in math b r right with the operations of matrix addition and matrix multiplication. This set satisfies the above ring axioms. The element 1001 display style begin p matrix 1 and 0 0 and 1 end p matrix is the multiplicative identity of the ring if a equals 0110 display style a equals begin p matrix 0 and 1 1 and 0 end p matrix and b equals 0100 display style b equals begin p matrix 0 and 1 0 and 0 end p matrix then a b equals 0001 display style a b equals begin p matrix 0 and 0 0 and 1 end p matrix while b a equals 1000 display style b a equals begin p matrix 1 and 0 0 and 0 end p matrix this example shows that the ring is noncommutative more generally for any ring r commutative or not and any non-negative integer n one may form the ring of n by n matrices with entries in r c matrix ring Topic History Topic Dedekind 
The study of rings originated from the theory of polynomial rings and the theory of algebraic integers. In 1871, Richard Dedekind defined the concept of the ring of integers of a number field. In this context, he introduced the terms, ideal, inspired by Ernst Kummer's notion of ideal number, and module, and studied their properties. But Dedekind did not use the term, ring, and did not define the concept of a ring in a general setting. Hilbert The term Zalering number ring was coined by David Hilbert in 1892 and published in 1897. In 19th century German, the word ring could mean association, which is still used today in English in a limited sense, e.g., spy ring, so if that were the etymology, then it would be similar to the way group entered mathematics by being a non-technical word for collection of related things. According to Harvey Cohn, Hilbert used the term for a ring that had the property of circling directly back to an element of itself. Specifically, in a ring of algebraic integers, all high powers of an algebraic integer can be written as an integral combination of a fixed set of lower powers, and thus the powers cycle back. For instance, if a3 minus 4a plus 1. Topic 0 then a3. 4a minus 1, a4. Topic 4a2 minus a, a5. Minus a two plus sixteen a minus four a six. Topic sixteen a two minus eight a plus one a seven. Minus eight a two plus sixty five a minus sixteen, and so on. In general, and is going to be an integral linear combination of one a and a two. Topic: Frankel and Noether. The first axiomatic definition of a ring was given by Adolf Frankel in 1914, but his axioms were stricter than those in the modern definition. For instance, he required every non-zero divisor to have a multiplicative inverse. In 1921, Emmy Noether gave the modern axiomatic definition of commutative ring and developed the foundations of commutative ring theory in her paper Ideal Theory in Ringbereichen. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Multiplicative identity, mandatory versus optional. Frankel required a ring to have a multiplicative identity 1, whereas Noether did not. Most or all books on algebra up to around 1960 followed Noether's convention of not requiring a 1. Starting in the 1960s, it became increasingly common to see books including the existence of 1 in the definition of ring, especially in advanced books by notable authors such as Artin, Atia and MacDonald, Bourbaki, Eisenbud, and Lang. But even today, there remain many books that do not require a 1. Faced with this terminological ambiguity, some authors have tried to impose their views, while others have tried to adopt more precise terms. In the first category, we find for instance Gardner and Wiegand, who argue that if one requires all rings to have a one, then some consequences include the lack of existence of infinite direct sums of rings, and the fact that proper direct summons of rings are not subrings. They conclude that, in many, maybe most, branches of ring theory the requirement of the existence of a unity element is not sensible, and therefore unacceptable. 
In the second category, we find authors who use the following terms. Rings with multiplicative identity, unital ring, unitary ring, unit ring, ring with unity, ring with identity, or ring with one. Rings not requiring multiplicative identity, RNG or pseudo ring, although the latter may be confusing, as having other meanings. Topic: <laughs> Basic examples. Commutative rings The prototype example is the ring of integers with the two operations of addition and multiplication. The rational, real and complex numbers are commutative rings of a type called fields. An algebra over a ring is itself a ring. These are also modules. Some examples Any algebra over a field the polynomial ring R X of polynomials over a ring R is itself a ring. A free module over R of infinite dimension. Z C Display style Math BF Z C The integers with an irrational number C adjoined. A free module of infinite dimension if C is a transcendental number, a free module of finite dimension if C is an algebraic integer. Z 1 n Display style Math BF Z 1 n The set of fractions whose denominators are a power of n including negative ones. A non-free module Z one ten display style math bf z one tenth the set of decimal fractions Z one plus d two display style math bf z one plus sqrt d two where d is a square free integer of the form 4n plus 1. A free module of rank 2. Cf. Quadratic integers. Z i Display style math bf z i The Gaussian integers. Z 1 plus minus 3 2 display style math bf z 1 plus sqrt minus 3 2 the eisenstein integers also their generalization a kummer ring the set of all algebraic integers forms a ring this follows for example from the fact that it is the integral closure of the ring of rational integers in the field of complex numbers the rings in the three previous examples are subrings of this ring. The set of formal power series R x1, xn over a commutative ring R is a ring. If S is a set, then the power set of S becomes a ring if we define addition to be the symmetric difference of sets and multiplication to be intersection. This corresponds to a ring of sets and is an example of a Boolean ring. The set of all continuous real-valued functions defined on the real line forms a commutative ring. The operations are pointwise addition and multiplication of functions. Let x be a set and r a ring. Then the set of all functions from x to r forms a ring, which is commutative if r is commutative. The ring of continuous functions in the previous example is a subring of this ring if x is the real line and r is the field of real numbers, noncommutative rings. For any ring r and any natural number n, the set of all square n by n matrices with entries from r, forms a ring with matrix addition and matrix multiplication as operations. For n equals 1, this matrix ring is isomorphic to R itself. For n greater than 1 and R not the zero ring, this matrix ring is noncommutative. 
If G is an abelian group, then the endomorphisms of G form a ring, the endomorphism ring end G of G. The operations in this ring are addition and composition of endomorphisms. More generally, if V is a left module over a ring R, then the set of all R linear maps forms a ring, also called the endomorphism ring and denoted by ENDR V. If G is a group and R is a ring, the group ring of G over R is a free module over R having G as basis. Multiplication is defined by the rules that the elements of G commute with the elements of R and multiply together as they do in the group G. Many rings that appear in analysis are noncommutative. For example, most Banach algebras are noncommutative, non rings. The set of natural numbers n with the usual operations is not a ring, since n plus is not even a group, the elements are not all invertible with respect to addition. For instance, there is no natural number which can be added to 3 to get 0 as a result. There is a natural way to make it a ring by adding negative numbers to the set, thus obtaining the ring of integers. The natural numbers including zero form an algebraic structure known as a semiring which has all of the properties of a ring except the additive inverse property. Let R be the set of all continuous functions on the real line that vanish outside a bounded interval depending on the function, with addition as usual but with multiplication defined as convolution f g x equals minus infinity infinity f y g x minus y d y Display style f asterisk g x equals int underscore in a t caret in a t f y g x y die. Then R is a R N G, but not a ring. The Dirac delta function has the property of a multiplicative identity, but it is not a function and hence is not an element of R. Topic. Basic concepts Topic Elements in a ring A left zero divisor of a ring R Display style R is a non zero element A Display style A in the ring such that there exists a non-zero element b display style b of r display style r such that a b equals 0 display style ab equals 0 a right zero divisor is defined similarly. A nullpotent element is an element a display style a such that a n equals zero display style a caret n equals zero for some n greater than zero display style n greater than zero one example of a nullpotent element is a nullpotent matrix a nullpotent element in a non-zero ring is necessarily a zero divisor an idempotent e display style e is an element such that e 2 equals E display style e caret two equals e. One example of an idempotent element as a projection in linear algebra. A unit as an element. A 
display style a having a multiplicative inverse in this case the inverse is unique and is denoted by a minus 1 display style a caret minus 1 the set of units of a ring is a group under ring multiplication this group is denoted by r times display style r caret times or r display style r caret asterisk or u r display style u r for example, if R is the ring of all square matrices of size n over a field, then R times display style R caret times consists of the set of all invertible matrices of size n and is called the general linear group. Topic subring. A subset S of R is said to be a subring if it can be regarded as a ring with the addition and the multiplication restricted from R to S equivalently, S is a subring if it is not empty, and for any x, y in S x y display style x y x plus y display style x plus y and minus x display style x are in s if all rings have been assumed by convention to have a multiplicative identity then to be a subring one would also require s to share the same identity element as r so if all rings have been assumed to have a multiplicative identity then a proper ideal is not a subring for example, the ring Z of integers is a subring of the field of real numbers and also a subring of the ring of polynomials Z X. In both cases, Z contains 1, which is the multiplicative identity of the larger rings. On the other hand, the subset of even integers 2Z does not contain the identity element 1 and thus does not qualify as a subring of Z. An intersection of subrings is a subring. The smallest subring containing a given subset E of R is called a subring generated by E. Such a subring exists since it is the intersection of all subrings containing E. For a ring R, the smallest subring containing 1 is called the characteristic subring of R. It can be obtained by adding copies of 1 and minus 1 together many times in any mixture. It is possible that n 1 equals 1 plus 1 plus plus 1 display style n c d o t 1 equals 1 plus 1 plus l dots plus 1 n times can be 0 if n is the smallest positive integer such that this occurs, then n is called the characteristic of R in some rings n 1 is never zero for any positive integer n, and those rings are said to have characteristic zero. Given a ring R, let Z R Display style operator name Z R denote the set of all elements X in R such that X commutes with every element in R X Y equals Y X display style X Y equals Y X for any Y in R then Z R Display style operator name Z R 
is a subring of R, called the center of R more generally, given a subset X of R, let S be the set of all elements in R that commute with every element in X then S is a subring of R, called the centralizer or commutant of X the center is the centralizer of the entire ring R elements or subsets of the center are said to be central in R, they generate a subring of the center. Topic. Ideal The definition of an ideal in a ring is analogous to that of normal subgroup in a group. But, in actuality, it plays a role of an idealized generalization of an element in a ring, hence, the name, ideal. Like elements of rings, the study of ideals is central to structural understanding of a ring. Let R be a ring. A non-empty subset I of R is then said to be a left ideal in R if, for any X, Y in I and R in R X plus Y display style X plus Y and R X display style R X are in I if R I display style re denotes the span of I over R, i.e., the set of finite sums R one x one plus plus R n x n R I element of r x i element of i display style r underscore 1 x underscore 1 plus c d o t s plus r underscore n x underscore n quad r underscore i in r quad x underscore i in i then i is a left ideal if r I I display style re subset I. Similarly, I is said to be right ideal if I R I display style I R subset I. A subset I is said to be a two-sided ideal or simply ideal if it is both a left ideal and right ideal. A one-sided or two-sided ideal is then an additive subgroup of R if E is a subset of R, then R E is a left ideal, called the left ideal generated by E, it is the smallest left ideal containing E. Similarly, one can consider the right ideal or the two-sided ideal generated by a subset of R. If x is in R, then R x display style R x and x R display style x R are left ideals and right ideals, respectively. They are called the principal left ideals and right ideals generated by x. The principal ideal R x r display style r x r is written as x display style x for example the set of all positive and negative multiples of 2 along with 0 form an ideal of the integers and this ideal is generated by the integer 2 in fact every ideal of the ring of integers is principal like a group, a ring is said to be simple if it is non-zero and it has no proper non-zero two-sided ideals. A commutative simple ring is precisely a field. Rings are often studied with special conditions set upon their ideals. For example, a ring in which there is no strictly increasing infinite chain of left ideals is called a left-Noetherian ring. 
a ring in which there is no strictly decreasing infinite chain of left ideals is called a left Artinian ring. It is a somewhat surprising fact that a left Artinian ring is left Noetherian, the Hopkins-Levitsky theorem. The integers, however, form a Noetherian ring which is not Artinian. For commutative rings, the ideals generalize the classical notion of divisibility and decomposition of an integer into prime numbers in algebra. A proper ideal P of R is called a prime ideal if for any elements x y element of R displaystyle x y in R we have that x y element of p display style xy in p implies either x element of p display style x in p or y element of p display style y in p Equivalently, P is prime if for any ideals I J display style I J we have that I J P display style I J subset P implies either I P Display style i subset p or j p display style j subset p. This latter formulation illustrates the idea of ideals as generalizations of elements. Topic: Homomorphism. A homomorphism from a ring R plus to a ring S asterisk is a function f from R to S that preserves the ring operations, namely such that for all a, b in R, the following identities hold: f a plus b equals f a f b, f a b equals f a asterisk f b. F one R equals one SIF one is working with not necessarily unital rings, then the third condition is dropped. A ring homomorphism is said to be an isomorphism if there exists an inverse homomorphism to F, i.e., a ring homomorphism which is an inverse function. Any bijective ring homomorphism is a ring isomorphism. Two rings R S Display style R S are said to be isomorphic if there is an isomorphism between them, and in that case, one writes R S display style R simic S. A ring homomorphism between the same ring is called an endomorphism, and an isomorphism between the same ring an automorphism. Examples. The function that maps each integer x to its remainder modulo 4 a number in 0, 1, 2, 3 is a homomorphism from the ring Z to the quotient ring Z, for Z quotient ring is defined below. If U displaystyle U is a unit element in a ring R, then R R x u x u minus 1 display style r to r x maps to u x u caret minus 1 is a ring homomorphism called an inner automorphism of r let r be a commutative ring of prime characteristic p then x x p display style x maps to x caret p 
is a ring endomorphism of R called the Frobenius homomorphism. The Galois group of a field extension L K display style L K is the set of all automorphisms of L whose restrictions to K are the identity. For any ring R, there are a unique ring homomorphism Z R and a unique ring homomorphism R zero. An epimorphism, i.e., right cancelable morphism of rings need not be surjective. For example, the unique map Z Q display style mathb Z to mathb Q is an epimorphism. An algebra homomorphism from a k-algebra to the endomorphism algebra of a vector space over k is called a representation of the algebra, given a ring homomorphism f r s display style f r to s. The set of all elements mapped to zero by f is called the kernel of f. The kernel is a two-sided ideal of R. The image of F, on the other hand, is not always an ideal, but it is always a subring of S. To give a ring homomorphism from a commutative ring R to a ring A with image contained in the center of A is the same as to give a structure of an algebra over R to A in particular gives a structure of A module. Topic. Quotient ring The quotient ring of a ring, is analogous to the notion of a quotient group of a group. More formally, given a ring R, plus, and a two-sided ideal I of R, plus, the quotient ring or factor ring R, I is the set of cosets of I with respect to the additive group of R, plus, i.e. cosets with respect to R, plus, together with the operations a plus I plus B plus I equals A plus B plus I and a plus i b plus i equals ab plus i dot for every a b in r like the case of a quotient group there is a canonical map p r r i display style p r to r i given by x x plus i Display style x mapsto x plus i. It is surjective and satisfies the universal property if f r s display style f r to s is a ring homomorphism such that f i equals zero. Display style f i equals zero. Then there is a unique f r i s display style overline f r i to s such that f equals f p Display style f equals overline f circ p. In particular, taking i to be the kernel, one sees that the quotient ring R cur f display style R operator name cur f is isomorphic to the image of f, the fact known as the first isomorphism theorem. The last fact implies that actually any surjective ring homomorphism satisfies the universal property since the image of such a map is a quotient ring. Topic: Module The concept of a module over a ring generalizes the concept of a vector space over a field by generalizing from multiplication of vectors with elements of a field scalar multiplication to multiplication with elements of a ring. 
More precisely, given a ring R with 1, an R module M is an abelian group equipped with an operation R times MM associating an element of M to every pair of an element of R and an element of M that satisfies certain axioms. This operation is commonly denoted multiplicatively and called multiplication. The axioms of modules are the following, for all A, B in R and all X, Y in M, we have M is an abelian group under addition A X plus Y equals A X plus A Y Display style a x plus y equals x plus i a plus b x equals a x plus b x display style a plus b x equals x plus b x one x equals x display style 1x equals x a b x equals a b x display style ab x equals a b x when the ring is noncommutative these axioms define left modules, right modules are defined similarly by writing x a instead of x. This is not only a change of notation, as the last axiom of right modules that is x ab. Topic. x a b becomes ab x. B x, if left multiplication by ring elements is used for a right module. Basic examples of modules are ideals, including the ring itself. Although similarly defined, the theory of modules is much more complicated than that of vector space, mainly, because, unlike vector spaces, modules are not characterized up to an isomorphism by a single invariant the dimension of a vector space. In particular, not all modules have a basis. The axioms of modules imply that minus 1 x equals minus x, where the first minus denotes the additive inverse in the ring and the second minus the additive inverse in the module. Using this and denoting repeated addition by a multiplication by a positive integer allows identifying abelian groups with modules over the ring of integers. Any ring homomorphism induces a structure of a module, if f, r s is a ring homomorphism, then s is a left module over r by the multiplication, r s equals f r s. If r is commutative or if f r is contained in the center of s, the ring s is called a r algebra. In particular, every ring is an algebra over the integers equals topic constructions equals topic direct product let r and s be rings then the product r times s can be equipped with the following natural ring structure R1, S1, plus R2, S2 equals R1 plus R2, S1 plus S2 R1, S1, R2, S2 equals R1, R2, S1, S2 for every R1, R2 in R and S1, S2 in S the ring R times S with the above operations of addition and multiplication and the multiplicative identity 1 1 display style 1 1 
is called the direct product of R with S. The same construction also works for an arbitrary family of rings if R I display style R underscore I are rings indexed by a set I, then I element of I R I Display style prod underscore i in i r underscore i is a ring with componentwise addition and multiplication. Let R be a commutative ring and a one a n display style math frac a underscore one c d o t s math frac a underscore n be ideal such that a i plus a j equals 1 display style math frac a underscore i plus math frac a underscore j equals 1 whenever i does not equal J display style i n e q j. Then the Chinese remainder theorem says there is a canonical ring isomorphism R i equals one n a i i equals one n R A I X mod I equals one N A I X mod of one X mod A N display style R text style big cap underscore I equals one carrot N math frac O underscore I simic prod underscore I equals one carrot N R math frac O underscore I Q quad X operator name mod text style big cap underscore I equals one carrot N math frac O underscore I mapsto X operator name mod math frac O underscore 1 L dots X operator name mod math frac a underscore n a finite direct product may also be viewed as a direct sum of ideals namely let R I 1 I n Display style R underscore I one L E Q I L E Q N B rings R I R equals R I Display style R underscore I to R equals prod R underscore I The inclusions with the images A I display style math frac a underscore I in particular a I display style math frac a underscore I are rings though not subrings then a I display style math frac a underscore I are ideals of R and R equals a one a n a i a j equals zero i does not equal j a i two a I 
display style r equals math frac a underscore one o plus c d o t s o plus math frac a underscore n quad math frac a underscore i math frac a underscore j equals zero i n e q j quad math frac a underscore i caret two subsetec math frac a underscore i as a direct sum of abelian groups because for abelian groups finite products are the same as direct sums. Clearly the direct sum of such ideals also defines a product of rings that is isomorphic to R. Equivalently, the above can be done through central idempotents. Assume R has the above decomposition. Then we can write 1 equals E one plus plus E N E I element of A I Display style one equals E underscore one plus C D O T S plus E underscore N quad E underscore I in math frac a underscore I by the conditions on A I Display style math frac a underscore I one has that E I Display style e underscore i are central idempotents and e i e j equals zero i does not equal j display style e underscore i e underscore j equals zero i n e q j orthogonal. Again, one can reverse the construction. Namely, if one is given a partition of 1 in orthogonal central idempotents, then let a i equals r e i display style math frac a underscore i equals re underscore i which are two sided ideals. If each E I display style E underscore I is not a sum of orthogonal central idempotents, then their direct sum is isomorphic to R. An important application of an infinite direct product is the construction of a projective limit of rings, see below. Another application is a restricted product of a family of rings, cf. a del ring. Topic: <laughs> Polynomial ring. Given a symbol t called a variable and a commutative ring R, the set of polynomials R t equals a N T N plus A N minus one T N minus one plus plus a one T plus a zero N zero A J element of R Display style R T equals left a underscore N T carrot N plus A underscore N one T carrot N one plus dots plus A underscore one T plus A underscore zero mid N G E Q zero a underscore J in R right forms a commutative ring with the usual addition and multiplication, containing R as a subring. It is called the polynomial ring over R. More generally, the set R T 
1 t n display style r t underscore 1 l dots t underscore n of all polynomials in variables t 1 t n display style t underscore 1 l dots t underscore n forms a commutative ring containing r t i display style r t underscore i as subrings if r is an integral domain then r t display style r t is also an integral domain, its field of fractions is the field of rational functions. If R is a Noetherian ring, then R T is a Noetherian ring. If R is a unique factorization domain, then R T is a unique factorization domain. Finally, R is a field if and only if R T display style R T is a principal ideal domain. Let R S display style R subset S be commutative rings. Given an element x of s, one can consider the ring homomorphism R T S F F X display style R T to S quad F mapsto F X, i.e. the substitution. If S equals R T and X equals T, then F T equals F. Because of this, the polynomial F is often also denoted by F T display style F T. The image of the map F F X display style F mapsto F X is denoted by R X display style R X it is the same thing as the subring of S generated by R and X example K T 2 T 3 display style K T caret 2 T caret 3 denotes the image of the homomorphism k x y k t f f t 2 t 3 Display style k x y to k t f mapsto f t caret two t caret three. In other words, it is the subalgebra of k t display style k t generated by t two and t three. Example, let f be a polynomial in one variable, i.e., an element in a polynomial ring R then f x plus h displaystyle f x plus h is an element in R h displaystyle R h and F x plus H minus F x display style F x plus H F x is divisible by H in that ring. The result of substituting zero to H in F x 
plus h minus f x h display style f x plus h f x h is f x display style f x the derivative of f at x the substitution is a special case of the universal property of a polynomial ring the property states given a ring homomorphism phi r s display style phi r to s and an element x in S there exists a unique ring homomorphism phi r t s display style overline phi r t to s such that phi t equals x Display style overline phi t equals x and phi display style overline phi restricts to phi display style phi. For example, choosing a basis, a symmetric algebra satisfies the universal property, and so is a polynomial ring. To give an example, let S be the ring of all functions from R to itself, the addition and the multiplication are those of functions. Let X be the identity function. Each R in R defines a constant function, giving rise to the homomorphism R S display style R to S. The universal property says that this map extends uniquely to R T S F F display style R T to S quad F mapsto overline F T maps to X where F display style overline F is the polynomial function defined by f. The resulting map is injective if and only if r is infinite. Given a non-constant monic polynomial f in r t there exists a ring s containing r such that f is a product of linear factors in s T display style s t. Let K be an algebraically closed field. The Hilbert's Nullstellensatz theorem of zeros states that there is a natural one-to-one -one correspondence between the set of all prime ideals in K t one t n. Display style k t underscore one l dots t underscore n, and the set of closed subvarieties of k n. Display style k caret n. In particular, many local problems in algebraic geometry may be attacked through the study of the generators of an ideal in a polynomial ring, cf. Grobner basis There are some other related constructions. A formal power series ring R T Display style R T consists of formal power series zero infinity A I T I A I element of R display style sum underscore zero carrot in a t a underscore I T carrot I quad a underscore I in R together with multiplication and addition that mimic those for convergent series. It contains R T display style R T 
as a subring. Note a formal power series ring does not have the universal property of a polynomial ring, a series may not converge after a substitution. The important advantage of a formal power series ring over a polynomial ring is that it is local, in fact, complete. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Matrix ring and endomorphism ring. Let R be a ring, not necessarily commutative. The set of all square matrices of size n with entries in R forms a ring with the entry-wise addition and the usual matrix multiplication. It is called the matrix ring and is denoted by Minnesota R. Given a right R module U U the set of all R linear maps from U to itself forms a ring with addition that is of function and multiplication that is of composition of functions, it is called the endomorphism ring of U and is denoted by and R U display style operator name end underscore R U as in linear algebra, a matrix ring may be canonically interpreted as an endomorphism ring and R R N M N R display style operator name end underscore R R caret N simic operator name M underscore N R this is a special case of the following fact if f 1 n u 1 n u display style f o plus underscore 1 caret n u 2 o plus underscore 1 caret n u is an R linear map, then F may be written as a matrix with entries F I J display style F underscore I J in S equals end R U Display style s equals operator name end underscore r u, resulting in the ring isomorphism end r one n u m n s f f i j Display style operator name end underscore r o plus underscore one caret n u two operator name m underscore n s quad f mapsto f underscore i j. Any ring homomorphism R S induces Minnesota R manganese two sulfide. In fact, any ring homomorphism between matrix rings arises in this way. Schur's lemma says that if U is a simple right R module, then and R U display style operator name end underscore R U is a division ring. If U equals I equals one R U I M I Display style display style U equals big O plus underscore I equals one carrot R U underscore I carrot O plus M underscore I is a direct sum of me copies of simple R modules U I display style U underscore I then end R U one R M M I end R U 
I Display style operator name end underscore R U Simic Bigo plus underscore one carrot R operator name M underscore M underscore I operator name end underscore R U underscore I the Artin Wedderburn theorem states any semisimple ring CF below is of this form. A ring R and the matrix ring Minnesota R over it are Morita equivalent. The category of right modules of R is equivalent to the category of right modules over Minnesota R. In particular, two-sided ideals in R correspond in one to one to two-sided ideals in Minnesota R. Examples The automorphisms of the projective line over a ring are given by homographers from the 2 by 2 matrix ring. <laughs> Limits and colimits of rings Let Re be a sequence of rings such that Re is a subring of Re plus 1 for all I. Then the union or filtered colimit of Re as the ring Lim R I Display style Varangelum R underscore I defined as follows, it is the disjoint union of all Re's modulo the equivalence relation X Y Display style X sim Y If and only if X equals Y display style X equals Y in Re for sufficiently large I. Examples of colimits: a polynomial ring in infinitely many variables R T one T two equals Lim R T one T two T M Display style R T underscore one T underscore two C D O T S equals Varangelum R T underscore one T underscore two C D O T S T underscore M the algebraic closure of finite fields of the same characteristic f p equals lim f p m display style overline math b f f underscore p equals varangelum math b f f underscore p caret m the field of formal Laurent series over a field K K T equals Lim T minus M K T Display style K T equals Varangelum T carrot M K T it is the field of fractions of the formal power series ring K T display style K T the function field of an algebraic variety over a field K is lim K U display style varangelum K U where the limit runs over all the coordinate rings K U display style K U of non-empty open subsets U. More succinctly, it is the stock of the structure sheaf at the generic point. Any commutative ring is the colimit of finitely generated subrings. A projective limit or a filtered limit of rings is defined as follows. Suppose we're given a family of rings R. I display style r underscore i i running over positive integers, say, and ring homomorphisms r j 
R I J I Display style R underscore J to R underscore I J G E Q I such that R I R I display style R underscore I to R underscore I are all the identities and R K R J R I display style R underscore K to R underscore J to R underscore I is R K R I display style R underscore K to R underscore I whenever K J I Display style K G E Q J G E Q I Then Lim R I Display style Varproy Lim R underscore I is the subring of R I Display style prod R underscore I consisting of X N display style x underscore n such that x j display style x underscore j maps to x i display style x underscore i under r j r I J I display style R underscore J to R underscore I J G E Q I for an example of a projective limit, see section completion. Topic Localization The localization generalizes the construction of the field of fractions of an integral domain to an arbitrary ring and modules. Given a not necessarily commutative ring R and a subset S of R, there exists a ring R S minus 1 display style R S caret minus 1 Together with the ring homomorphism R R S minus one display style R to R S caret minus one that inverts S that is the homomorphism maps elements in S to unit elements in R S minus one display style r s caret minus one, and moreover, any ring homomorphism from R that inverts s uniquely factors through r s minus one display style r s caret minus one. The ring r s minus 1 display style r s caret minus 1 is called the localization of r with respect to s for example if r is a commutative ring and f an element in r then the localization r f minus 1 display style r f caret minus 1 consists of elements of the form r f n r element of r n 0 display style r f caret n r in r n geq 0 to be precise 
R F minus one equals R T T F minus one Display style R F carrot minus one equals R T T F one. The localization is frequently applied to a commutative ring R with respect to the complement of a prime ideal or a union of prime ideals in R. In that case, S equals R minus P. Display style S equals R math frac P. One often writes R P. Display style R underscore math frac P. For R S minus one. Display style R S caret minus one. R P display style r underscore math frac p is then a local ring with the maximal ideal p r p display style math frac p r underscore math frac p. This is the reason for the terminology localization. The field of fractions of an integral domain R is the localization of R at the prime ideal zero. If P displaystyle mathfrak P is a prime ideal of a commutative ring R, then the field of fractions of R P displaystyle R mathfrak P is the same as the residue field of the local ring R P display style R underscore math frac P and is denoted by K P display style K math frac P if M is a left R module, then the localization of M with respect to S is given by a change of rings m s minus 1 equals r s minus 1 r m display style m s caret minus 1 equals r s caret minus 1 o times underscore r m the most important properties of localization are the following, when R is a commutative ring and S a multiplicatively closed subset P P S minus 1 Display style math frac P mapsto math frac P S caret minus 1 is a bijection between the set of all prime ideals in R disjoint from S and the set of all prime ideals in R S minus one display style R S caret minus one R S minus one equals lim R F minus one display style R S caret minus one equals varangelum R F caret minus one F running over elements in S with partial ordering given by divisibility. The localization is exact. Zero M S minus 1 m s minus 1 m s minus 1 0 
Display style zero two M S carrot minus one two M S carrot minus one two M S carrot minus one to zero is exact over R S minus one Display style R S carrot minus one whenever zero M M M zero display style zero to M to M to M to zero is exact over R. Conversely, if zero M M M M M M zero Display style zero two M underscore math frac M two M underscore math frac M two M underscore math frac M to zero is exact for any maximal ideal M Display style math frac M then zero M M M zero Display style zero to M to M to M to zero is exact. A remark localization is no help in proving a global existence. One instance of this is that if two modules are isomorphic at all prime ideals, it does not follow that they are isomorphic. One way to explain this is that the localization allows one to view a module as a sheaf over prime ideals and a sheaf as inherently a local notion. In category theory, a localization of a category amounts to making some morphisms isomorphisms. An element in a commutative ring R may be thought of as an endomorphism of any R module. Thus, categorically, a localization of R with respect to a subset S of R is a functor from the category of R modules to itself that sends elements of S viewed as endomorphisms to automorphisms and is universal with respect to this property. Of course, R then maps to R S minus 1 display style r s caret minus 1 and r modules map to r s minus 1 display style r s caret minus 1 modules topic Completion Let R be a commutative ring, and let I be an ideal of R. The completion of R at I is the projective limit R caret equals lim R I N Display style hat r equals varproilim r i caret n. It is a commutative ring. The canonical homomorphisms from r to the quotients r i n display style r i caret n induce a homomorphism r r caret Display style R to hat R. The latter homomorphism is injective if R is a Noetherian integral domain and I is a proper ideal, or if R is a Noetherian local ring with maximal ideal I, by Kroll's intersection theorem. The construction is especially useful when I is a maximal ideal. The basic example is the completion Z P of Z at the principal ideal P generated by a prime number P, it is called the ring of P-adic integers. The completion can in this case be constructed also from the P-adic absolute value on Q. The P-adic absolute value on Q is a map X X Display style X mapsto X 
from Q to R given by N P equals P minus V P N Display style N underscore P equals P carrot V underscore P N where V P N Display style V underscore P N denotes the exponent of P in the prime factorization of a nonzero integer N into prime numbers. We also put zero P equals zero display style zero underscore p equals zero and m n p equals m p n p Display style M N underscore P equals M underscore P N underscore P. It defines a distance function on Q and the completion of Q as a metric space is denoted by QP. It is again a field since the field operations extend to the completion. The subring of QP consisting of elements X with X P one display style x underscore p l e q one is isomorphic to Z p. Similarly, the formal power series ring R t display style R t is the completion of R t display style R t T display style T. See also Hensel's lemma. A complete ring has much simpler structure than a commutative ring. This owns to the Cohen structure theorem, which says roughly that a complete local ring tends to look like a formal power series ring or a quotient of it. On the other hand, the interaction between the integral closure and completion has been among the most important aspects that distinguish modern commutative ring theory from the classical one developed by the likes of Noether. Pathological examples found by Nagata led to the re-examination of the roles of Noetherian rings and motivated, among other things, the definition of excellent ring. Topic. Rings with generators and relations The most general way to construct a ring is by specifying generators and relations. Let f be a free ring i.e., free algebra over the integers with the set x of symbols, i.e., f consists of polynomials with integral coefficients in noncommuting variables that are elements of x. A free ring satisfies the universal property, any function from the set x to a ring r factors through f so that f r f to r is the unique ring homomorphism. Just as in the group case, every ring can be represented as a quotient of a free ring, now, we can impose relations among symbols in X by taking a quotient. Explicitly, if E is a subset of F, then the quotient ring of F by the ideal generated by E is called the ring with generators X and relations E. If we used a ring, say, A as a base ring instead of Z, then the resulting ring will be over A. For example, if E equals X Y minus Y x x y element of x display style e equals x y y x mid x y in x 
then the resulting ring will be the usual polynomial ring with coefficients in A in variables that are elements of X it is also the same thing as the symmetric algebra over A with symbols X. In the category theoretic terms, the formation S the free ring generated by the set S display style s mapsto text the free ring generated by the set s is the left adjoint functor of the forgetful functor from the category of rings to set and it is often called the free ring functor let a b be algebras over a commutative ring r then the tensor product of r modules a r b Display style a o times underscore r b is a r module. We can turn it to a ring by extending linearly x u y v equals x y u v Display style x o times u y o times v equals x y o times u v. See also tensor product of algebras, change of rings. Topic: Special kinds of rings. Topic: Domains. A nonzero ring with no nonzero zero divisors is called a domain. A commutative domain is called an integral domain. The most important integral domains are principal ideals domains, PID for short, and fields. A principal ideal domain is an integral domain in which every ideal is principal. An important class of integral domains that contain a PID is a unique factorization domain UFD, an integral domain in which every nonunit element is a product of prime elements an element is prime if it generates a prime ideal. The fundamental question in algebraic number theory is on the extent to which the ring of generalized integers in a number field, where an ideal admits prime factorization, fails to be a PID. Among theorems concerning a PID, the most important one is the structure theorem for finitely generated modules over a principal ideal domain. The theorem may be illustrated by the following application to linear algebra. Let V be a finite dimensional vector space over a field K and F v v display style f v to v a linear map with minimal polynomial q then since k t display style k t is a unique factorization domain q factors into powers of distinct irreducible polynomials i e prime elements Q equals P one E one P S E S Display style Q equals P underscore one carrot E underscore one P underscore S carrot E underscore S letting T V equals F V Display style T C D O T V equals F V We make V A K T module the structure theorem then says V is a direct sum of cyclic modules, each of which is isomorphic to the module of the form K T P I K J display style K T P underscore I carrot K underscore J. 
now if p i t equals t minus lambda i display style p underscore i t equals t lambda underscore i then such a cyclic module for p i display style p underscore i has a basis in which the restriction of f is represented by a jordan matrix thus if say k is algebraically closed then all p i display style p underscore i s are of the form t minus lambda i display style t lambda underscore i and the above decomposition corresponds to the jordan canonical form of f in algebraic geometry ufds arise because of smoothness more precisely a point in a variety over a perfect field is smooth if the local ring at the point is a regular local ring a regular local ring is a ufd the following is a chain of class inclusions that describes the relationship between rings, domains and fields. Commutative rings integral domains integrally closed domains unique factorization domains principal ideal domains Euclidean domains fields. Topic. Division ring A division ring is a ring such that every non-zero element is a unit. A commutative division ring is a field. A prominent example of a division ring that is not a field is the ring of quaternions. Any centralizer in a division ring is also a division ring. In particular, the center of a division ring is a field. It turned out that every finite domain in particular finite division ring is a field, in particular commutative the Wedderburn's Little Theorem. Every module over a division ring is a free module has a basis, consequently, much of linear algebra can be carried out over a division ring instead of a field. The study of conjugacy classes figures prominently in the classical theory of division rings. Carton famously asked the following question, given a division ring D and a proper subdivision ring S that is not contained in the center, does each inner automorphism of D restrict to an automorphism of S? The answer is negative, this is the carton brouwer wa theorem. A cyclic algebra, introduced by L. E. Dixon, is a generalization of a quaternion algebra. Semisimple rings A ring is called a semisimple ring if it is semisimple as a left module or right module over itself, i.e., a direct sum of simple modules. A ring is called a semiprimitive ring if its Jacobson radical is zero. The Jacobson radical is the intersection of all maximal left ideals. A ring is semisimple if and only if it is Artinian and is semiprimitive. An algebra over a field K is Artinian if and only if it has finite dimension. Thus, a semisimple algebra over a field is necessarily finite dimensional, while a simple algebra may have infinite dimension, e.g., the ring of differential operators. Any module over a semisimple ring is semisimple. Proof: Any free module over a semisimple ring is clearly semisimple, and any module is a quotient of a free module. Examples of semisimple rings: A matrix ring over a division ring is semisimple, actually simple. The group ring K G. Display style K G 
of a finite group G over a field K is semisimple if the characteristic of K does not divide the order of G Mashka's theorem. The Weyl algebra over a field is a simple ring, it is not semisimple since it has infinite dimension and thus not Artinian. Clifford algebras are semisimple, semisimplicity is closely related to separability. An algebra A over a field K is said to be separable if the base extension a k f display style a o times underscore k f is semisimple for any field extension f k display style f k. If A happens to be a field, then this is equivalent to the usual definition in field theory cf. separable extension. <laughs> Central simple algebra and Brouwer group For a field K, a K algebra is central if its center is K and is simple if it is a simple ring. Since the center of a simple K-algebra is a field, any simple K-algebra is a central simple algebra over its center. In this section, a central simple algebra is assumed to have finite dimension. Also, we mostly fix the base field, thus, an algebra refers to a K-algebra. The matrix ring of size n over a ring R will be denoted by R n Display style r underscore n. The skolem noether theorem states any automorphism of a central simple algebra is inner. Two central simple algebras A and B are said to be similar if there are integers n and m such that a k k n approximately equals b k K M display style a o times underscore k k underscore n approximately b o times underscore k k underscore m since k n k k m k n m Display style k underscore n o times underscore k k underscore m simic k underscore n m. The similarity is an equivalence relation. The similarity classes of display style of with the multiplication a b equals a k b display style a b equals a o times underscore k b form an abelian group called the brouwer group of k and is denoted by bridge k display style operator name bridge k by the artin wedderburn theorem, a central simple algebra is the matrix ring of a division ring, thus, each similarity class is represented by a unique division ring. For example, bridge K displaystyle operator name bridge K is trivial if K is a finite field or an algebraically closed field more generally quasi-algebraically closed field, cf. Sen's theorem. Bridge R display style operator name bridge math b R has order 2 a special case of the theorem of Frobenius. Finally, if K is a non-Archimedean local field, e.g., Q P display style math b Q underscore P, then bridge K equals Q Z 
Display style operator name bridge k equals math b q math b z through the invariant map. Now, if f is a field extension of k, then the base extension minus k f display style o times underscore k f induces bridge k bridge f display style operator name bridge k to operator name bridge f its kernel is denoted by bridge f k display style operator name bridge f k it consists of a display style a such that a k f display style a o times underscore k f is a matrix ring over f ie a is split by f if the extension is finite and galois then bridge f k display style operator name bridge f k is canonically isomorphic to h 2 gal f k k display style h caret 2 operator name gal f k k caret asterisk Azumaya algebras generalize the notion of central simple algebras to a commutative local ring. Topic: <laughs> Valuation ring. If K is a field, a valuation V is a group homomorphism from the multiplicative group K** to a totally ordered abelian group G such that, for any F, G in K with F plus G nonzero, V F plus G min V F V G. The valuation ring of V is the subring of K consisting of zero and all nonzero F such that V F zero. Examples The field of formal Laurent series K T Display style K T over a field K comes with the valuation V such that V F is the least degree of a nonzero term in F. The valuation ring of V is the formal power series ring K T Display style k t. More generally, given a field k and a totally ordered abelian group G, let k g display style k g be the set of all functions from G to k whose supports, the sets of points at which the functions are non-zero, are well ordered. It is a field with the multiplication given by convolution f g t equals s element of g f s g t minus s Display style f asterisk g t equals sum underscore s in g f s g t s. It also comes with the valuation v such that v f is the least element in the support of f. The subring consisting of elements with finite support is called the group ring of g, which makes sense even if g is not commutative. If G is the ring of integers, then we recover the previous example by identifying F with the series whose nth coefficient is F n. See also, Novikov ring and uniserial ring. Topic. Rings with extra structure 
A ring may be viewed as an abelian group by using the addition operation, with extra structure, namely, ring multiplication. In the same way, there are other mathematical objects which may be considered as rings with extra structure. For example, an associative algebra is a ring that is also a vector space over a field K such that the scalar multiplication distributes over the ring multiplication. For instance, the set of n by n matrices over the real field R has dimension n2 as a real vector space. A ring R is a topological ring if its set of elements R is given a topology which makes the addition map plus R times R R display style plus R times R to R and the multiplication map R times R R display style C D O T R times R to R to be both continuous as maps between topological spaces where x times x inherits the product topology or any other product in the category. For example, n by n matrices over the real numbers could be given either the Euclidean topology, or the Zariski topology, and in either case one would obtain a topological ring. A lambda ring is a commutative ring R together with operations lambda n, R R that are like n th exterior powers lambda n x plus y equals 0 n lambda i x lambda N minus I Y display style lambda caret N x plus Y equals sum underscore zero caret N lambda caret I x lambda caret N I Y. For example, Z is a lambda ring with lambda N x equals x n display style lambda caret n x equals binom x n the binomial coefficients the notion plays a central role in the algebraic approach to the riemann roch theorem a totally ordered ring is a ring with a total ordering that is compatible with ring operations Topic. Some examples of the ubiquity of rings Many different kinds of mathematical objects can be fruitfully analyzed in terms of some associated ring. Cohomology ring of a topological space To any topological space X one can associate its integral cohomology ring H X Z equals I equals zero infinity H I X Z Display style h caret asterisk x math b z equals big O plus underscore i equals zero caret in a t h caret i x math b z a graded ring. There are also homology groups h i x z display style h underscore i x math b z of a space, and indeed these were defined first, as a useful tool for distinguishing between certain pairs of topological spaces, like the spheres and tori, for which the methods of point-set topology are not well suited. 
Cohomology groups were later defined in terms of homology groups in a way which is roughly analogous to the dual of a vector space. To know each individual integral homology group is essentially the same as knowing each individual integral cohomology group, because of the universal coefficient theorem. However, the advantage of the cohomology groups is that there is a natural product, which is analogous to the observation that one can multiply pointwise a k multilinear form and an l multilinear form to get a k plus l multilinear form. The ring structure in cohomology provides the foundation for characteristic classes of fiber bundles, intersection theory on manifolds and algebraic varieties, Schubert calculus and much more. <laughs> Burnside ring of a group To any group is associated its Burnside ring which uses a ring to describe the various ways the group can act on a finite set. The Burnside ring's additive group is the free abelian group whose basis are the transitive actions of the group and whose addition is the disjoint union of the action. Expressing an action in terms of the basis is decomposing an action into its transitive constituents. The multiplication is easily expressed in terms of the representation ring. The multiplication in the Burnside ring is formed by writing the tensor product of two permutation modules as a permutation module. The ring structure allows a formal way of subtracting one action from another. Since the Burnside ring is contained as a finite index subring of the representation ring, one can pass easily from one to the other by extending the coefficients from integers to the rational numbers. <laughs> <laughs> representation ring of a group ring To any group ring or Hopf algebra is associated its representation ring or green ring. The representation ring's additive group is the free abelian group whose basis are the indecomposable modules and whose addition corresponds to the direct sum. Expressing a module in terms of the basis is finding an indecomposable decomposition of the module. The multiplication is the tensor product. When the algebra is semisimple, the representation ring is just the character ring from character theory, which is more or less the Grothendieck group given a ring structure. Topic: <laughs> Function field of an irreducible algebraic variety. To any irreducible algebraic variety is associated its function field. The points of an algebraic variety correspond to valuation rings contained in the function field and containing the coordinate ring. The study of algebraic geometry makes heavy use of commutative algebra to study geometric concepts in terms of ring theoretic properties. Birational geometry studies maps between the subrings of the function field. Topic: <laughs> Face ring of a simplicial complex. Every simplicial complex has an associated face ring, also called its Stanley-Reisner ring. This ring reflects many of the combinatorial properties of the simplicial complex, so it is of particular interest in algebraic combinatorics. In particular, the algebraic geometry of the Stanley-Reisner ring was used to characterize the numbers of faces in each dimension of simplicial polytopes. Topic. Category theoretical description Every ring can be thought of as a monoid in A flat, the category of abelian groups, thought of as a monoidal category under the tensor product of Z Display style Math B Z modules 
The monoid action of a ring R on an abelian group is simply an R module. Essentially, an R module is a generalization of the notion of a vector space, where rather than a vector space over a field, one has a vector space over a ring. Let A plus be an abelian group and let end A be its endomorphism ring. See above. Note that, essentially, end A is the set of all morphisms of A, where if F is in end A, and G is in end A, the following rules may be used to compute F plus G and F G. F plus G X equals F X plus G X F G X Topic F G X where plus as in F X plus G X is addition in A, and function composition is denoted from right to left. Therefore, associated to any abelian group, is a ring. Conversely, given any ring, R, plus, R, plus is an abelian group. Furthermore, for every R in R, right or left multiplication by R gives rise to a morphism of R, plus, by right or left distributivity. Let A R, plus. Consider those endomorphisms of A, that factor through right or left multiplication of r in other words let e and r a be the set of all morphisms m of a having the property that m r x equals r m x it was seen that every r in r gives rise to a morphism of a right multiplication by r it is in fact true that this association of any element of R, to a morphism of A, as a function from R to E and R A, is an isomorphism of rings. In this sense, therefore, any ring can be viewed as the endomorphism ring of some abelian X group by X group, it is meant a group with X being its set of operators. In essence, the most general form of a ring, is the endomorphism group of some abelian X group. Any ring can be seen as a preadditive category with a single object. It is therefore natural to consider arbitrary preadditive categories to be generalizations of rings. And indeed, many definitions and theorems originally given for rings can be translated to this more general context. Additive functors between preadditive categories generalize the concept of ring homomorphism, and ideals in additive categories can be defined as sets of morphisms closed under addition and under composition with arbitrary morphisms. Topic: <laughs> Generalization. Algebraists have defined structures more general than rings by weakening or dropping some of ring axioms. RNG RNG is the same as a ring, except that the existence of a multiplicative identity is not assumed. Non-associative ring A non-associative ring is an algebraic structure that satisfies all of the ring axioms except the associative property and the existence of a multiplicative identity. A notable example is a Lie algebra. There exists some structure theory for such algebras that generalizes the analogous results for Lie algebras and associative algebras. Samiring A samiring is obtained by weakening the assumption that R plus is an abelian group to the assumption that R plus is a commutative monoid, and adding the axiom that zero a. Topic a zero. 
0 for all a in R since it no longer follows from the other axioms. Example, a tropical samiring. Topic: Other ring-like objects. Topic: Ring object in a category. Let C be a category with finite products. Let PT denote a terminal object of C, an empty product. A ring object in C is an object R equipped with morphisms R times R A R display style R times R stackrel A to R addition R times R M R Display style R times R stackrel M to R multiplication PT zero R display style operator name PT stackrel zero to R additive identity R I R Display style R stackrel I to R additive inverse and PT one R display style operator name PT stackrel one to R multiplicative identity satisfying the usual ring axioms. Equivalently, a ring object is an object R equipped with a factorization of its functor of points H R equals home minus R C op S E T S Display style H underscore R equals operator name home R C carrot operator name up to Math BF sets through the category of rings C up R I N G S forgetful S E T S display style C caret operator name up to math BF rings stackrel text RM forgetful long right arrow math BF sets topic ring scheme. In algebraic geometry, a ring scheme over a base scheme S is a ring object in the category of S schemes. One example is the ring scheme Wn over spec Z, which for any commutative ring A returns the ring Wn A of p isotypic width vectors of length n over A. Topic: Ring spectrum. In algebraic topology, a ring spectrum is a spectrum X together with a multiplication mu x x x display style mu colon x wedge x to x and a unit map s x display style s to x from the sphere spectrum S, such that the ring axiom diagrams commute up to homotopy. In practice, it is common to define a ring spectrum as a monoid object in a good category of spectra such as the category of symmetric spectra. Topic. See also Special types of rings Topic Notes
equals equals citations <laughs>